Supervisor turned up at my house while on sick leave. Was in a car crash at the end of June and have a herniated disc as a result. Luckily my employer is pretty generous and I get three months full pay for sick leave. I work as a civil engineer which is rather physical. Hence me not rushing back. I've kept regular contact with my supervisor and manager. I had just spoke to my manager last Friday and emailed him a new sick note to cover my absence from my doctor. Today my supervisor turns up unannounced knocking on my door and wakes my baby. My wife was upstairs having just got her to sleep. He was here to hand deliver a letter to inform me as of October 9th my full sick pay will run out. I was on the toilet luckily so I missed him. Just really pissed me off to have my personal space invaded when he could have just sent an email. Feels like he's trying to intimidate me. I've got a new job lined up for when my sick pay ends so fuck that guy. Edit. Just to add a bit more information. I initially had a month off after the accident. I went back in for a week. But the nature of my job meant I was just making my back worse. Also my supervisor is a bully who likes to throw his weight around at our yard. I know for a fact this was an intimidation tactic. I would email HR. Along the lines of asking them if they knew supervisor did this. I'm willing to bet they don't know. If your sick leave is coinciding with US-based FMLA. That's an egregious breach of federal laws that govern FMLA. He was checking to make sure you weren't doing cartwheels whilst trying to lift a Mini Cooper above your head. Glad you were pooping. How does a supervisor, or anyone for that matter even have the time to show up at an employee's residence? One place I worked at we had a supervisor and employee live nearby each other. And we had to provide the employee with their separation papers. The supervisor said that they would drop it off but forget that we couriered the papers over. That's just creepy and stupid. Feels like he's trying to intimidate me. Maybe a little. But his true purpose was to check if you're really injured sick. He wanted to catch you doing something physical that your doctor's note said you shouldn't be doing. So that he can claim you're using your sick leave improperly. A co-worker told me that when she worked for Bell Telephone, if you called out sick, someone would come to your home to check up on you. This would have been 50s, 60s US. She worked in Philly, PA office. I had never heard of this before but it's def still intrusive even more so since now there are so many other ways to contact you. Add me to the list of people who are curious about who authorized this. If anyone face with rolling eyes. If you have FMLA and you're approved out of work. You can actually file a complaint with not only HR but the labor board. Management isn't even supposed to contact you while you're out unless you reach out first exciting. Is supposed to go through our. His intimidation tactics could cost the company. This is US though. I feel like there was a time where this was normal and done with good intentions I long for it. Though it probably never existed. I am pretty sure it is a major HR violation for them to have searched up your address to do this. Employee contact information is a protected piece of data and a severe breach of privacy. At least in the USA. Has the person never heard of an envelope and stamp? So much easier for everyone involved. It sounds like he was trying to catch you in the act of re-roofing your house. Having completely faked the injury. He fancies himself a private investigator. And more importantly. He has nothing better to do with his time? Seriously. As you pointed out. This could have been emailed. Or he could have called. He was just informing you of something. There's no conversation to have. It could have been a text message. But instead he takes off from work. Drives to come see you at home. To hand deliver a note?
I say that he's doing a bunch of shit that nobody asked him to do. And he should not have been doing. Let's pretend for a moment they felt this needed verification of delivery. That's literally what certified mail is for. I would also point out to HR they took time away from work to drive to your house to do this. Yeah, fuck that guy. Make sure you show up to his house and bang on the door to deliver the news that you will need to be replaced. I miss the days when we had electronic devices that allowed us to almost instantly communicate with each other in services where we can send sealed paper documents to each other. Those were the days. Saved by the shitter. Seems wholly unnecessary on their part could have checked in via phone video call. Even if you needed to sign to verify that the two of you had spoken or that you'd been given documentation of when your coverage would cease. That also could have been done electronically. It's 2023. You should go to his house and hand deliver your resignation letter. I guess stopping by his house to talk to his wife about the incident would be too far. You could insinuate that you weren't home and he knew your wife would be alone. Only time I would be okay with my employer visiting me in this situation would be if they came with a get well card and baked goods. And even then I'd be upset. Good bowel health and care is paramount. Good on ya. Oof I'll need an update on Monday. I'd have the wife answer the door with the screaming baby and ask did he find it necessary to disturb a sleeping baby. Full mom death eater glare. In the UK I do t think it's overly odd to have your SUPV come to visit when you're on long-term sick. For a welfare check but it's usually not a surprise thing. It would usually be pre-arranged. Reminds me of that episode of The Office. Last sentence was a sweet surprise tears of joy. Bra my GFS dad has the same thing and he's been on disability for 20 years lol. HR won't help. They protect the company from employees. Not the other way around. This is illegal. You have every right to not have to work. I hope you have this on video file a lawsuit. It's your right to sleep in. Don't forget that. Since you're leaving the job anyway, you should make some money waves. Go to the higher-ups really indignant threatening to sue if the supervisor isn't fired. Is he required to do extra work because of your absence? If so, he is probably spying to see if you're really injured. Can you clarify the order of things? Supervisor came by today, upset you, and then you got a new job? All in one day? Three mo sick leave after serious incident is generous? I would be long dead in the USXD. The fact that the US and other countries limits the amount of sick days is fucking insane. I had a co-worker who was away from like two months and the doctors kept extending her recovery period. To the point she missed like four months of work total. And then one day she just came back and just started working again. I know OP is in the UK. But I have no idea why Americans don't demand that workers' rights be codified into the Constitution. When you leave, please cite this as the reason. Should have puked on him. Not encouraging violence in any way. Why we have the most poorly behaved large dogs within 20 miles. They're not really, but given permission will act like they're going to eat the door. That's absolutely crazy. Glad you're getting better and looking for different job. Is your boss Dwight Schrute? Your supervisor shouldn't have access to your address. Email HR and indicate that supervisor's recent unannounced visit aggravated your medical condition and disability as well as caused an a disturbance for your baby. Request that they cease and decist unannounced visits and email and mail any written documents that need to be ist to you.